Oh. Oh, oh, it's not working. I'm tired. Ah, why won't it light? Yeah, why? Uh huh. Marian. Do you still remember how to start a fire when making a torch? We do have wood and banana fibers, but we still can't get it to light. Actually, to get things to catch fire requires three conditions. It needs fuel, compurent, and ignition point. Fuel is anything that can catch fire. For example, wood and bamboo. The compurent is air. Then what is the ignition point? To catch fuel on fire, you need sufficient energy. The ignition point is like the peak of a mountain. When the heat energy reaches a high enough point, it can catch fire. The height of the energy mountain is different for different fuels, which means that the ignition point for different fuels is not the same. When there is enough heat energy and it reaches the ignition point, it will burn. However, damp wood has water within it, which will absorb the heat energy. Oh, so the problem is that the energy is being taken away by the water, so it can't reach ignition point. Because it rained in the afternoon, all of the wood we found was wet. Then let's go and look for some dry wood. Actually, there's some here. Huh? Why didn't you say that sooner? Jivas, let's try starting a fire by spinning wood. Twist the stick around the string of the bow, then pull the bow string to twist the stick. Use the heat energy produced by friction to start a fire. Why not just use a fire starting stone instead of wood spinning? Well, I know why. The sparks from using a fire starting stone spray around, like eating like this. But starting a fire by spinning wood is like this. I think this is what Pohoi means. The sparks from the fire starting stone spread around, so the heat energy is not focused, and the wood cannot reach the ignition point. But by spinning the wood to start a fire, the heat energy is concentrated on one point, and when it is concentrated, the wood easily reaches its ignition point. 